Wedding season is upon us, and today I'm going to be showing you 10 DIYs that you can use for your wedding, your shower, as favors, or as a gift. Stay tuned. I'm Rebecca Virginia, and every Thursday I bring you a new DIY video. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please remember to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you never miss out on a future video. Let's get started with the first wedding DIY. So many bridal showers or wedding showers are tea party themed. So for this first DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to create this adorable favor that can hold some cookies, a cute little thank you saying, and a sachet of tea. So first up, I picked some cardstock and my Cricut mat has a really good grid and has, you know, all the measurements on it. So that's what I'm using, not actually for Cricut reasons, but just because I liked it because it was able to show me everything. And technically I could have just used my Cricut to do all this, but I really wanted to show you all who don't have a Cricut, but I am going to be using my scoring tool. I don't have a like handheld scoring tool. I just have this one from the Cricut. So I'm using that, but again, there's, you don't need to have a cutting machine for this. It would make things a lot easier and faster, but I am going to be showing you how to do it just by hand. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of this. So I am taking an eight and a half by 12 inch paper. It's cardstock, but you can use whichever one you would like. And we are going to be scoring parallel first to the eight and a half inch side. And I am scoring at one and a quarter inch, two and a half inch, five inch, seven inch, nine and a half inch, and then lastly at 10 and three quarters of an inch. And now we're gonna be going parallel with the 12 inch side. So I repositioned my paper just so that I could see that grid, but you could just turn it if you have a different grid than me, or if you're a little bit better at <laughs> your math and measuring. And for this one, again, we're scoring parallel to the 12 inch side, and I am scoring at two and a half inch and at six inch. A little bit difficult to see on camera, but at the four corners of our paper, you're going to cut the two and a half inch square from each corner. It's a lot easier to see in person. You can really see the scores. So I'm just cutting that out of each of our four corners. And now we're going to begin the folding section of this DIY. The score lines were nice and visible, a little bit difficult to see on camera, but in person they made a lot of sense. So I am just taking each of these corners and folding them down. This kind of reminded me of making origami or one of those fortune tellers that we all made as kids. So again, I'm just folding these all in towards the center of our tea bag favor. Once that is done, we are going to fold each of these sides into the center and one will overlap the other. Doesn't matter which one, you'll see in a second why. So after we fold those, we are then going to flip our tea bag favor over and you can start to see that it's really coming together. So then we are going to fold each of the sides in towards the center. Again, doesn't matter which one you do first because we're actually in the process of creating the stand-up tea bag. You can start to see it being formed, which is when I finally was like, oh, okay, I see exactly what I'm doing now. And then we are going to fold the tops down on each side, and that is eventually going to be the section that holds this little tea bag favor together. And before we punch holes into the tea bag and kind of seal it together, we are first going to prepare our tea cookies. So I'm taking one of these clear bags. I'll have it linked in my Amazon storefront if you guys wanted to check them out. And this is going to be the little baggie that holds the cookies. Of course, if you are making this for a bridal shower, wear gloves, be careful, but I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. So these might look like Oreos, but they're actually my dog's treats. <laughs> I don't really have cookies in the house because I will eat them all, I love them. So those were actually dog treats. That's a little secret that you wouldn't know from Instagram. But of course, when handling food, please wear gloves and you know be sanitary. 
but I am putting in the cookies, AKA the dog treats and sealing those up. You can see that I punched holes in each of the sections at the top of the tea bag. Then I wove some ribbon through and then I'm making a knot, making sure to have the little cookie bag in between and then tying it off with a bow and you can pick whichever kind of tea that you would like. I thought that this one was really cute. It was a sleepy time tea, so maybe it wouldn't make the most sense for a bridal shower, but I liked how the tea bag looked. I think that the clear tea bag, which you'll see in a second, I ended up using it for the picture, looked really pretty because you could actually see the tea bag inside. And then I just wrote a cute little note that said, thank you for showering the beauty full bride to be. And just a little thank you note would also be cute or something with maybe the date of the wedding. The next DIY is not only a really easy and inexpensive way to identify the table numbers at your wedding, but you could also give it as a game. It is of course going to be a bottle of wine. You can either have it for guests to share at the table or you can play a game with it. Whoever has been married the longest gets to bring that home. So it can double as either a table number or possibly even a wedding gift to your guest. I grabbed these bags from burlapfabric.com. They are an amazing website because they have such affordable products. You can get a whole bunch of these wine bags for super cheap. Definitely check them out. I will have them linked below. And I use them for a couple of DIYs in this video because I was just amazed at the quality, but also how inexpensive they are. I used my Cricut to cut out the number six and just adhered that on using my iron. Then once I placed the wine bottle inside, I just added some embellishments using florals, jute, and a little bit of ribbon. The his and her favorite candies can be used for so many things. You could use it as your wedding favors at the bridal shower, but I initially thought it'd be a really cute item to include in a welcome bag for out of town guests staying at the hotel. Again, if you're going to be handling this and giving it to guests, wear gloves or better yet, pick candy that comes pre-packaged. I promptly ate pretty much all of this licorice after <laughs> I made this video and took pictures because I loved it. But for the his and her favorite, I chose red licorice and then some lint chocolates. Again, I will link these clear bags in my Amazon favorite shop because I use them for quite a few DIYs. Then I just cut out some hearts out of sticker paper and wrote his favorite and her favorite. For the her favorite, I'm using lint chocolates. And again, I think the prepackaged candy might be the better way to go, but if you wanna actually be accurate and truly give his and her favorite, then you might be limited on your options. But I thought these were just such a cute little item. If you do have them as favors at your wedding, you can have guests either pick both or pick what their favorite out of the two is. The next DIY, we're going back to the tea party theme, and this is a super quick and easy one to leave your guests with a sweet tea favor at your bridal shower. This one, like I said, very easy. I just took one of these small sachets from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack. Then I tucked in this tea. I liked it because it had the cute little teacups on it, but of course you can pick whichever tea you like. And then I'm using that little tag that I made in the previous DIY. It just says, thank you for showering the BUT full bride. If you wanted to add in a little something more to this shower favor, you could add in a honey stick or even I've seen them do a sugar stick. I think that would be an excellent touch to this DIY. This DIY, I was so mad at myself, I must not have hit record on it, so I only have the final pictures, but it was super easy. I just used cardstock and a pen to write the saying, here's to a sweet beginning. And then I just stuck this on a toothpick and then put the toothpick inside of the lint chocolate. But this would also be really cute on a cookie or dessert table.
I hate to have favorites in my video, but after I completed this one, especially the one with tulle on it, I absolutely loved it. This would be so cute as a bridal shower favor. And it's using almost all Dollar Tree supplies in this one. I picked up these I think they're supposed to be brides cards or boxes from the Dollar Tree section. I've had them for a while, so I can't quite remember what they were supposed to be, but I think it ended up you can make a box out of it. But I am just going to be using the dress silhouette. So one of them I cut out and I left pretty much as it was, just trimming it down so that it would fit in one of these little Dollar Tree sachet bags. And then another one I used some pinking shears on to add a fun wavy texture around the bride's dress but for the one that I'm going to be showing you that I do right now I just use regular scissors so again I'm just trimming down this dress so that it will fit inside of our Dollar Tree bag and once I cut out the dress I tucked it into this kind of lavender colored bag from the Dollar Tree so I have my dress that I use the pinking shears on in the clear bag and I'm adding some mints to it I ended up not doing this on my DIY, but it would be cute if you added a little tag that said mint to be. And then on our second one, I am also going to add mints to it. But since I didn't use the pinking shears on this one, I wanted to give it an embellishment of its own. So to add a little something to this, I am taking some tulle, I would say probably about seven inches and I'm folding it in half the long way, you know, hot dog style. And then I just grabbed a needle and thread and I'm doing a super loose basting stitch. This does not need to be precise or well sewn at all. I am just doing a basic basting stitch all the way across the top. Once I reach the other end of the tool, I am going to cut that and then grab both ends and start pulling and really cinching this tool together. And you will see that you are kind of creating a little tutu. So I went ahead and fluffed that out. And originally I was going to tie it to the back, which worked fine for this video but if you're going to be giving it as favors i realized maybe that wasn't the best way so after i bunched it up i just took some double-sided tape and stuck that onto the tool to get it to attach to our little dollar tree sachet bag i was going to use hot glue but that would go through the tool also so double-sided tape seemed to be the best because you couldn't see it and it still held everything together Another really quick one if you are in a pinch for some bridal shower favors. I made just this little bag filled with Hershey Kisses and the saying, kiss the miss goodbye. And then you could also add your wedding date. Similar to our previous DIYs, I really loved these bags from Amazon. Again, link below. And I filled them up with Hershey Kisses. I did not want to go out and buy a brand new bag of Hershey Kisses because I would just end up eating them. So I have these ones actually left over from Christmas. I know, I still have them. But they're really great to use for DIYs and staging. So I stuck these in a bag, but I do think that if you're going to use these for a bridal shower, all silver would look the best. And then I had some leftover ribbon, kind of like a tool ribbon that I used to tie the bag together. And then I just cut off the top and kind of fluffed it so it looked nice. I wrote kiss the miss goodbye on some sticker paper and cut that out in a circle shape, but you could do a heart or even a diamond would be cute. And then I stuck that on the bag and it's a great, really quick favor to have at your bridal shower. Keeping on the kind of candy peppermint theme here, I have some repurposed Tic Tacs that say meant to be with your wedding date. Of course, you could use them for a shower, but I also think that this is one of the DIYs that you could also have as one of your wedding favors. My store only had these multicolor Tic Tacs, but I definitely suggest just getting the plain white ones. I went to two stores and could not find them. And then right after I filmed this DIY, I saw them at the Dollar Tree, but I didn't really want to spend $1.25 on Tic Tacs when they're like 90 cents at Walmart. Anyways, I designed this little label. I printed it out on a sticker paper and just stuck it over the Tic Tac. 
I would recommend though, kind of learning from my mistakes. So I only printed out the sticker paper to cover the Tic Tac label, but I would make one that also goes on the back and possibly covers the top too, because that was a pretty brightly colored label that said Tic Tac on it. And I did wrap it in a little bit of jute just to add a little bit of a rustic touch to it. But I really like the way that this came out and I think it's a really cute favor that your guests will actually use after the big day. We're going to take a small break from wedding favors and shower favor DIYs because I created this floral centerpiece using all Dollar Tree items and I think it would be so beautiful at either a bridal shower or even at a wedding. To start off, I'm taking one of these wood boxes from the crafter square section of the Dollar Tree and I just removed the lid. I'll put that in my craft stash to probably use for a future DIY. And we're going to be flipping this box upside down so that it will be our stand for the floral hoop. And I took a damp towel and some of this Waverly stain that I have in the shade Antique. And I'm just rubbing that into the box to give it a nice wood stain. Next up, I'm taking a brass ring that I got from the Dollar Tree. This came in a set of three, which is such an amazing deal. And at first I was using a tape. I thought that maybe that could hold it up and it definitely did. That's an option that you could use, but I wanted it to be really, really sturdy. So I decided to use hot glue to just really reinforce this ring and we'll be covering it with flowers. So you're not even going to see the hot glue anyway. I used some floral wire and a bunch of the spring florals from the Dollar Tree to create this arrangement. It was really easy. I just poked the floral wire through the flowers and then was able to hook it all onto the wire. And I left a couple of the floral wire pieces at the end so I could wrap those around the brass ring. And then in the sections that needed a bit more reinforcing, I'm just going in with the floral wire and wrapping it around the ring and around the floral arrangement that we made just securing everything in place. You could also use hot glue if you wanted to, but I figured I would probably be reusing this DIY. So I used the floral wire. So after I took pictures, I could unwind it and switch out the flowers as I wanted. This next wedding favor DIY would be cute not only for a bridal shower, but also something that guests can leave your wedding with. It's an adorable box that says let love grow and is filled with seed packets, but I will also have the template for this box linked down below so you can make your own. So you could really make whatever sticker you wanted and place whatever you want to inside of this box. So again, I will place the template in the description box linked down below. But basically, I cut this out of craft board. I've talked about that a couple times. It's basically less intense than cardboard, but stiffer and more durable than I would say craft paper. And I chose this one because it had kind of a metallic finish that I thought was really pretty and reminded me of a wedding. And you are just going to, I cut it out of my Cricut, but you could just cut it out with your hands. And then there are sections that show you exactly where you need to fold. I thought the let love grow saying was really cute. So inside of the box, I'm going to be placing this seedling packet, but also if you wanted to forego the box altogether, you could wrap some jute around the seed packet, add a bow and then place the sticker on that. And that would be super cute too. But once I saw the template for this box, I really wanted to share it with all of you because there's so many different ways that you could use it. So I decided to place the seeds in there and then on the section where you can open the box, I just placed this little sticker on it. I printed it out and cut it out. It's just pretty basic. I Google searched Let Love Grow and was able to find this. Before I close out today's video, I wanted to mention this brand called Caraway. If you're a bride, I really suggest putting this brand onto your wedding registry. And if you're, you know, looking to buy someone a nice gift for their wedding, I really suggest Caraway too. They are 100% non-toxic ceramic cookware. And the cookware sets come with some really cute organizers like you can see here at no extra cost. They come in an arrangement of gorgeous colors to 
compliment any home, and they're really an investment in someone's not only kitchenware, but also health. I will leave a link down below that allows you to get a special discount code using my link when you shop the site. Again, I think this would be a wonderful gift for a new bride and brides out there. This is something great to put on your registry. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.